Back to the polynomial, 2x squared minus 2. Let's start by simplifying this polynomial as much as we possibly can. If we take a look at both of our terms and see what factor they may have in common, uh, I see that they have both have 2 in common. So let's factor out the 2. That would leave behind x squared minus 2 divided by 2 would just give us 1. Now when I take a look at this right here, these numbers inside the parentheses, this is what we call a difference of squares. And a difference of squares is exactly what it sounds like. It is finding the difference between uh, two perfect squares. So x squared is a perfect squared. It just equals x squared. 1 squared would give us 1. 2 squared would give us 4. 3 squared would give us 9, and so on. So if you ever see a, a binomial like this where you see x squared minus 1 or x squared minus 4, x squared minus 9, or any other perfectly squareable number, then you are dealing with a difference of squares. And there's a special way that we can factor a difference of squares. Standard form of a difference of squares problem is a squared minus b squared. And the way this is factored out is a plus b times a minus b. And what would happen if you were to uh, use distributive property or the FOIL method to multiply this back out, you would have your a times a as your first step, your front, and then your last step, you'd have b squared. And then what would happen in the middle here is you would have a positive b times a and then a negative uh, a times b, a negative a times b. So you'd have negative ab and then positive ab. And those would just cancel each other out, leaving behind the a squared uh, minus b squared. So in order to factor this problem here, we need to take, leave our 2 on the outside of the parentheses, take our a, which is x, a plus b, which is 1, and then multiply it by x minus 1. If we take a quick look at our answer choices, we can see that nothing matches this right away. However, this answer choice right here looks very, very close. The only difference is that both of the signs are negative. One should be positive, one should be negative. So this is very misleading. They want you to pick this answer, but it is incorrect. If we look at these top two answer choices, we can see that they have distributed the two that was once outside the parentheses back into this first set of parentheses. So let's try that and see if we can get a match. 2 times x and 2 times 1 would give us 2x plus 2 times x minus 1, and that will match our first option, making it our correct answer.